Hey Leo, what's going on? Um, so <laughs> it's no longer the hand, it's no longer Hanson on the, uh, <laughs> on the readings. So let me tell you real quick, if there's a will, there's a way where a person that would be Leo. Okay. Cause I was like, I like to record in the garage. I, that may sound weird, but it's very quiet. Um, there's not a lot of background noise at all. Uh, I'm not living with the fear of God, you know, with the kids making noises in the background. And it is slightly witchy. I did notice that because there's like a few spider webs and um, I don't really, I don't kill spiders. I'm sure there's some of you out there that understand, but they're highly intelligent and they work really hard on their webs and they also, um, they're great for killing other insects that you don't want. So as long as the spider stays over there and I'm over here, we're cool, right? But it is a little, I noticed that walking out here before uh, the reading, there's a spider web right over there. And I was like, it's a little witchy, you know, in the garage. So anyway, dot, 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 Leo. But yes, so I went and got, for some of you that you know, when I do the readings, I have this hanging in the background. I went and got that out of my daughter's room. And I was like, let me see if I can hang this right here. Um, and of course, there's an area for me to hang it, right? Works out perfectly. And I was like, if there's a will, there's a way where a person, that would be Leo, okay? Um, I also think we're the slowest of the fire signs. I do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My theory is because our neighbor signs are Virgo and Cancer. So um, I think Sag and Aries are a little bit quicker, but I was like, damn, man, I, it's been an hour already and I'm just about to get started, but I have to get myself acclimated. So Leo, I'm just talking to y'all, just talking to y'all. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see what's going on with you and the person on your mind. Virgo's going to be so mad. I did Virgo's reading. It was spur of the moment yesterday. <laughs> Happy birthday to any of the Virgos if you're here. Um, it was spur of the moment yesterday. And um, there was, you know, Jax, my, my youngest son, he had chalk on the background and I was like, oh, Virgo, I know you're pissed about that. Uh, it was just very, and this wasn't up, so, you know. But anyway, I wanted to do their reading. All right, Leo, let's see how you're feeling. Do I want, I want to start off with the message of love, Oracle. Leo, how are you feeling, Leo, in this connection? Feeling Leo. Indecisive. Okay. You see that? I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Indecisive. Okay. So... Mm, interesting. You have missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have, but you also have escape. I left when things got hard. I think that that's the indecisiveness that I'm picking up on with you and this person, Leo. Yeah, I just get a very like stalled. You feel very stuck. Um, I think that for a number of you, you've already escaped when things got a bit difficult but you feel like you missed an opportunity with this person in doing that, or you didn't act when you should have, you didn't take, you didn't um, reach out when you should have, okay? And that could be why, um, hmm, secrets just came out in reverse when I'm about to ask for your person. 
that could be why um, maybe this person is very quiet, Leo. Let me, um, how is Leo's person? How are they feeling in this connection? Hmm. Reunion. We will always come back to each other. Well, well. <laughs> we will always come back to each other. Okay. Soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. And unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way that I planned. I don't think this person, for some of you, expected you to escape. That's what I'm hearing with this unexpected outcome. Like this person didn't expect you to kind of like remove yourself, Leo. And um, and Leos can do that. Um, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm Leo Sun, another Leo placement. So I know Leos can, um, and it, you know. I'll speak for myself, but a lot of it has to do with pride. You know, when our pride is hurt, when our ego is a bit bruised, we'll shut down. And um, we can go really quiet. <clears throat> Someone told me one time it's called the Leo switch. Like, we'll just hit that switch and shut down. Okay. <laughs> um, which is not not healthy, you know. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not. Okay, so let's see. So yes, unexpected. I think that you escaping was very unexpected. But I'm hearing that that was a lesson learned. They they definitely learned a lesson in that because they because it was unexpected, like you doing that. Okay, like and so. <clears throat> but they still feel like you two will always come back to each other. Like this person doesn't feel like things are over. Okay. How are you feeling, Leah? Let's clarify how you're feeling. How are you feeling in this connection? Two of Swords. Do some of you have Libra in your chart? Because this is my Libra card. Okay. No shade to any of the Libras watching. But it's it's a... It's not shade at all. Libra, I, I feel, I like that about Libra. I think Libras do take time to kind of like go back and forth and say, well, you weigh things out. Okay. It's very logical and it's um, a bit non-emotional. It's weighing out the emotions and the logic, what makes sense, what do, you know, so anyway, yeah, I'm getting like some of you have maybe have a, a Libra placement here. Two of Swords is um, Moon, Moon and Libra, I believe. So, yeah, you're sitting there. I think that's what you're doing, Leo. You're you. You haven't made up your mind about what to do in the situation. So that was that stuck kind of stalled feeling that I was getting. And how is your person feeling? Let's see how your person is feeling in this connection. Okay, we got more Libra. Queen of Swords. Hmm. I think whoever this is, they feel like it's not really, okay, two things I'm getting. They're waiting for you to come back around. That's the first thing I got when I saw this Queen of Swords. And I think this person is going back and forth on how they're going to receive you when you come back in. 
you know, what do I do with that? Because they're kind of letting you, I hate to say this, Leo, but I feel like they're letting, they're, they're, they're letting you sit with your decision too. Like, <laughs> you know, Leo, you left, you escaped. So I'm going to let you sit with that. You're the one that left. So you're the one that needs to come back. Okay. That's just what I'm getting. That's the storyline, the strongest storyline I'm getting. You left. So there's really nothing for me to do, but wait. Now, now they, to a degree, if this person is showing up like the queen of swords, logic tells them that you will come back because of a pattern. Like maybe this person knows your pattern, Leo. Okay. Because someone who's very logical observes patterns. And people do. People do have patterns. Um, and they sense, too, like you're, you're kind of, if you look at how you're feeling with the indecisive, like you're kind of cracking here. So whoever this is, I do get a very confident feeling with them. They, you know, they've learned, they've also learned something about you too. Like, okay, so Leo will, Leo will like, uh, you know, kind of run off, distance themselves. So they're kind of letting that soak in. All right. But they're letting you sort through how they feel. I think Leo is like, they're letting you sort through your feelings and your emotions because I think you left out of emotions or from, a, from an emotional place, okay? And now you're going back and forth like, was that the right decision? That's what I'm getting with you. How is Leo feeling in this connection? How is Leo feeling right now? Hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. I'm getting sabotage. You may feel like you potentially sabotage something with this person by escaping Leo. repetitive. It's like um, something is hammering home here about this connection. You keep thinking about something over and over again, trying to get, get it so the light doesn't give a glare. How is this person feeling in the connection with Leo? How's this person feeling? Mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection. That's what I'm getting mostly with this, with who this is. Yeah. Introspection. I do feel like Leo, if you're dating who this is. Um, they could be dating or talking to other people in the meantime, okay? Because I do see talking. But I, I also... Yeah, fun, flirting, especially if this is a Libra, okay? Could be Gemini, could be Aquarius, but I'm getting mostly like Libra. This person has Libra in their chart. Yeah, they could be like talking to people online. Um, 
but I am getting introspection and mirror usually shows up too. like, however you feel like if you are still interested in who this is, Leo, which I think you are, and, um, you want to move forward with them. I, I feel like they, you know, they're mirroring you where they feel the same way. And you both are definitely mirroring each other, but this, whoever this is, they feel a bit more in a powerful position because they show up like the queen of swords and you show up with the two of swords, but they feel like in a powerful position where confidence, like they're, they're like, no, I'm pretty confident Leo's going to come back around. Okay. <laughs> I think that they're like, I think Leo just needs to sort through some things, sort through their thoughts. And <clears throat> I hate to say it, but they're kind of right from what I'm getting. Okay, so I think this person knows you pretty well. But again, the way that you... Okay. Oh, okay. The reason why you're feeling like hammer is because a part of what I'm getting is you're trying to hammer something home. That's why I got hammer at home. Like you're, you're, you are trying to make a point by you stepping away and going quiet or leaving when, you know, things became the way they did. You're trying to hammer, you're trying to make a point. Okay. And I think they do get it. I do. I think they get it. They're doing some introspection, but they're also understanding you more, okay? Which part of that is good. Part of that is what you wanted. You're, you're, you wanted to show them like, look, when things get like this, I don't, you know, I don't like that. I don't want to be a part of that, okay? I really don't feel like I need an animal spirit, but how's Leo feeling? The black egg wanted to come out. How's Leo feeling in this connection? Yeah, the whale. See, sometimes I don't need an animal spirit because it's just, I mean, it, it just further clarifies. Um, whale energy is um, someone who it can tend us to, to slip back into the old story and very heavy with emotions. Okay. And that's, that, that is what I get with you here. Um, and that's the repetitive. There is something you do repeat here, Leo, that is not healthy getting your point across is fine. But what I'm hearing to say to some of you is that escaping is not always the best way because it leaves you with this type of lingering type of energy because now you, it's almost like you're sitting there trying to reconcile your own feelings and you're, you could be recognizing, I don't want to put anything on you, but you could be recognizing like, shit, I really need to reconcile these emotions with the other individual involved because it's just sitting with you. It's healthier if you were able to speak with who that is and, and have a conversation. So sometimes when you shut down and you leave and, um, do things from an emotional place. Well, now all of those emotions are still sitting with you. It's very heavy. And it's interesting too, because the whale shows up when it's like, you know, it's a, it's a beacon of um, hope. It says in our darkest hour. And I think you know that you can, um, I just had a bit of deja vu, by the way, you know that you have the capability to, um, 
like you're the light. You're the beacon of hope in this connection. You're the one that can kind of pull out, pull this connection out of the space that it's in. How's this person feeling? Ooh, the wolf. Okay. <laughs> Um, whoever this is, something tells me to like, for some of you, this person did try to reach out with the, um, nightingale or they really want to. Okay. And they also have the raccoon. So unresolved issues. So absolutely. You and this person are, have, you know, unresolved issues. This is my Aquarius card. So I told you for some of you, this could be an Aquarius. Um, so it's interesting. We have you know, you're showing up with feminine energy. They're showing up with this masculine wolf is like my alpha card. And, um, so yeah, your person, again, this queen of swords, wolf energy, this makes sense. This is somebody who is very logical. They are not going to play games. And wolves, um, it's funny because I, I, whenever I get the wolf, this person sees you as a part of their pack, okay, a part of their tribe. And that could be why they're like, I know Leo's going to come back. They're standing their ground with that wolf energy too. It's like this person's like, I'm not budging. I'm going to stand my ground. And some of you will comment and say, no, I'm not, I'm not coming back around. I'm not doing that. That's fine, but I'm telling you, you're, whoever this is, is very confident that you are, okay? <clears throat> and yeah, I think some of you may, it, it hurts, I, I'm hearing that, like it really hurts, whatever happened, it, it's, I don't know if it hurts, it just makes you sad, that's what I'm getting here with the whale spirit, it makes you really sad. And you know that you reacted from an emotional place, Leo. But I can understand why whoever this is can be very cold and can be very stoic, you know. Um, and wolf energy too is somebody who is like, we all need to get on the same page and do what I'm telling you to do. It's very authoritative, very alpha, very like, I'm the boss, I'm in charge here, okay? They're the leader. And this person could be a leader in other areas of their life and that translates into the connection. And I feel like a part of you, Leo, the way that this person goes about um, leading or how they go about, you know, um, operating in the connection with you, some of that bothers you. And I think you, you're, you're trying to make a point by leaving or at least pulling away emotionally. So that's what I see right now. I'm not gonna continue to drag this out. It's been 25 minutes, sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry, I always fix my hair. Okay. Well, I'm gonna continue this over on part two and I'm we're gonna you know get into where I see this going next, Leo. Part two is on Vimeo. That link is in the description, top of the comments, okay? And along with showing you what I pick up on happening next, we're going to talk about what this person wants, what they think will happen with you in this lifetime, okay? What do they think the relationship will be? What do they want the relationship to be? And I'm going to pull the three to six month outcome that I get in this connection. We're going to pull from the Time Oracle deck and I'll give you a timeline of whatever you want to manifest with this person. When do I see that happening? And of course, we're going to pull your advice. All right, Leo. So 
I'll see some of you over on the other side. If this is where we part ways, good luck with everything. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Peace.